Punk. It's great to see you today. Today I have a special surprise for you guys. This is my entire collection of opened Jurassic World, the first Jurassic World dinosaur toys. These were made by Hasbro. I mean, they do have, a lot of them are kind of ugly screw holes and stuff. But you know what? They have a sp special place in my heart. I mean, I love their Indominus Rex toys. So anyways, let's go ahead and check these out. Welcome to WT Toys. Have fun. Okay, so this first one I have two of. This is the Rampaging T-Rex. And if you played uh, Jurassic World the game, this is the level 40 Indominus Rex, which I do have on there. This one you crank up its arms, it roars, it chomps, it is totally awesome. And if you press the button here, you have spikes that pop up and she rolls. I actually have three of these, two of them that are open, and I have a brand new one in the package, which I will show you guys in a video later this week. So there is the two of them. Those are awesome. And then my favorite by far, is the original Indominus Rex. This guy opened his mouth way off. He roared, he made, uh, he is, uh, this whole part of him here is rubber, so it looks a lot more realistic. When he moves his uh, mouth and stuff, it looks cool. This whole thing lights, actually this whole thing lights up red back here. And I do actually have three of these. So I bought two of them for Dino Battles and a third one which is unopened which I will show you again later this week. And then the Indominus Rex was huge in the first one. Uh, I wish they would have did as much with the Indoraptor in the second one. Made a bunch more Indoraptor toys. One, another one I really like is the Zoomer Indominus Rex. So this guy, uh, he zooms around your house. He, you can put him in like angry mode. He chops, he roars, he chases you, he protects. I mean, this guy is totally awesome. Let's see if I can get him. Sometimes you put your hand in front of the sensors, he gets really angry. His eyes will turn red and he will attack. Let's see. Come on, attack me. He is roaring now, but. He's not attacking. Uh, anyways, check out my full unboxing video. I do have full unboxing videos of these and battles of most of them. And then another really cool one is this Chompin' T-Rex. This orange one was actually exclusive to Kohl's stores. And it came with, uh, I believe, three other uh, colorful dinosaurs, but this one is really awesome. And the one you could buy everywhere was this green chocolate T-Rex. So really cool dinosaur toys. Okay, and then we are moving on. Uh, first of all, they made really cool, uh, like, puppets too. This is a T-Rex puppet. Uh, it is all, uh, like rubber. Actually, I think it's foam. It's either rubber or foam. They made a T-Rex one. They made a Velociraptor one. So if you put them on your two hands, you could actually have realistic dinosaur battles. I actually bought a lot of these. I believe three of each because I knew they wouldn't be selling them anymore. So three of each. They are really cool. And then we're going to move on. This is a Chompin' T-Rex, but this is a custom one that I bought on eBay. So scratches and everything, uh, red, black. This one, I, no, this one didn't make noise. This is the, uh, the first uh, T-Rex toy they made and it does not make noise. And then moving on, they made a cool 
uh, Armored Ankylosaurus. I do like this guy, uh, it's just this guy like the other guys, he's got all the exposed screw holes. Which, uh, if you watched my unboxing, my 50 gallon box unboxing of the Jurassic World 2 Fallen Kingdom toys, you will see they do not have the screw holes. Much more realistic, better sound. Okay, another cool one they made was this Mosasaurus that came with a sub. This one had like the battle damage if you hit it. Uh, his mouth does open and close, but a lot of these that I've seen and other people have, the mechanism breaks pretty easily. So it does not work anymore. Before you would pull this and it would chomp its mouth, but it doesn't. But again, all the screw holes, I mean, they, that deterred from it so much because that is a cool Mosasaurus toy. And then this is one I, I actually really liked. It was a chomping T-Rex. I mean, a stomping T-Rex. If you push its legs, it does stomp. If you lift it up, it roars. It moves its head. Let me see. Actually, no, I'm thinking of the... Uh, Mattel one. So this one just opens its mouth and roars. Again, all the screw holes. A lot of people call those bullet holes. Rubber tail, like partial rubber head. This one's pretty cool looking. A lot of people do hate these dinos, but you know, they weren't all that bad. Uh, if they would have got rid of the screw holes and made them a little bit more durable, it would have been awesome. This is the original T-Rex. I showed you the red repaint earlier. Very, I don't know, to me that's very boring looking. I, I just, I don't, that one I do not like that much. This is uh, another uh, T-Rex mold they made. This one, uh, the spikes on its back will pop up when you push the action button. It open its mouth and roar. So it's similar to the one I just showed you. I believe this is the Rampage T-Rex. But once again, you do have all the exposed screw holes on one side. So what they did, uh, Hasbro did, they made one side acceptable, I guess for display purposes. And then they just said, forget it. And just left the screw holes. This here is a... Uh, Spinal Raptor. So if you ever played uh, Jurassic World the game by Ludia, this is the Spinal Raptor in the game. It's a combination of a Raptor and a Spinosaurus. Really cool looking. And then moving on, let's see which way are we going to go. Here we have a uh, Tranodon with battle damage, but its battle damage shield has broken. Like I said, they did not make these dinos very durable. Here we have a hybrid. This is a Stegoceratops, mix of a Stegosaurus and a Triceratops. They made, I believe, three colors of these. I have all of them. This is the brown one. That is its action feature. Uh, Im Imaginex made a cool Dilophosaurus here. So it is pretty realistic sounding. The eyes light up, cool looking. But you know, even Imaginex left some screw holes on this side. So it seems like everybody went cheap with the first ones. This is a Ceratosaurus they made uh, with a wound that lights up here and it does roar. But once again, all the screw holes. So that is super disappointing. This is an Indominus Rex that came in, uh, I believe it was the enclosure. So they have like a dinosaur enclosure with like a Jurassic World gate and everything. So that was kind of cool. Uh, very similar to the one they have from Jurassic Park. This is one of their bigger size uh, Jurassic World uh, vehicles like a uh, six-wheeled Mercedes vehicle with opening doors. And this is an Velociraptor with a growling sound, does open its mouth, 
chomp, move its head sideways. And that one is actually pretty decent. It doesn't have all the screw holes. And then they made a bunch of these. This is one of the newer ones. This is a Hero Masher. These ones were actually kind of fun. They made about eight or 10 of these. So you could take all the parts off and combine them with different dinos to make a uh, hybrid dinosaurs. This is a Stegosaurus that it walks and makes noise. Let me see if, well, the batteries are still good. I'm surprised. So this one, it's a baby Stegosaurus. It walks, it makes noise. And, you know, it's kind of cool. Uh, one of the only reasons I bought it though was to complete my collection. Same with this baby T-Rex. This one also see, makes sound and walks. Uh, oh, there we go. They do also chomp if you put your uh, finger in its mouth. It does actually bite you. So that's another cool one. Uh, and then moving on. They did actually make Velociraptor claws. They're not as good as the one Mattel made. Uh, these are like hard plastic and they don't fit all that good. The ones Mattel made for a Velociraptor Blue are a lot cooler. This is a bunch of the Hero Mashers. Here you can see I've got a Indominus Rex, a Raptor, Dilophosaurus, Pteranodon, I believe a Mosasaurus. So you can create a bunch of cool hybrids. This was actually one of my favorite. These were 15 packs of mini dinosaurs. I actually ended up buying probably about 15 of these because they are cool. I mean, this, these are really cool, like Jurassic World miniatures and they came with different color combinations. So here is a big bag I have of them. I have, I think, about 150 of these miniatures. So if you want to check that out on my channel, here is another bag and another bag. Like I said, I have about 15 bags of those miniatures and they are really cool. Here is a T-Rex that came, actually I think this one came in the uh, lockdown playset. That would be this playset here. And it included the gates of Jurassic World, which it looks like I have them taken apart actually. So that is, it was cool, but it was not big enough. Uh, if you've seen the Jurassic Park one, they made it a lot bigger. And then this is the Dimorphodon. It seems like this one. Wow, this one totally stopped working. Okay, well, it's action feature. Okay, so if you push its legs, flaps its wings, closes and opens its mouth, it looks like my batteries have died on that, so I apologize. I showed you uh, this girl earlier. This is the same as the other one I showed you. I usually bought doubles so I could create better battles. This is a little mini Pteranodon that will actually like bite your finger. It's kind of cool looking. Uh, it's more for younger kids. This is a tracker vehicle that Imaginext made. This is a really cool one. This one I like. This one, I don't know if you, I don't think you could find this anymore. This is a Peter B built model 387 hauler built for Jurassic World. It's got a big picture of the Indominus Rex on it and it is an 18 wheeler. So really cool. I like that one a lot. And then this is one of the Dilophosauruses got the big wounds, it squeals. The fins do not pop off unless you turn it forward like that. And then you get the frills popping out like it's attacking. This is the bright uh, green one. Uh, I believe they made 
I think three of those. And then this is another one of the Indominus Rex ones. The thing is, I bought all of the Jurassic World toys. I mean, they, to me, I really like them. This is more of the Hero Max, as you can see. Some of the weird configurations I put them in, in there. And then this is a Dilophosaurus Rex. A combination of a Dilophosaurus and a T-Rex. Why you would want to combine a Dilophosaurus and T-Rex, I don't know. I guess you'd get a spitting T-Rex that spits venom at you. This is another little tiny T-Rex. So T-Rex and Indominus Rex were really big with that. This is a similar one to the one I just showed you, but it is a green variation. This is Velociraptor Blue with camera. This one actually came with some type of a bazooka attached to him for shooting at enemies and his video camera. Once again, all the bullet holes. And then this is a hybrid Velociraptor here. Uh, looks like the batteries are dying. But this one had the chomping action. But again, all the bullet holes. This is a regular Ankylosaurus, just like the battle damage one. I mean, the armored one. But this one has like the swinging tail. And I believe. Yeah, his head does pop in and out. I mean, what's the point of that? Is I, I don't know really what the point of that is. This is another one of the Stegoceratops. Uh, this is the dark green variation. Once again, all the bullet holes. That was such a shame they made it with all the bullet holes. This is a medium size uh, Indominus Rex that came with a uh, gyrosphere. This one attacked the gyrosphere, but this one also has the battle damage, I believe. Yeah, this one has chomping action too if you push down the tail. But once again, all the bullet holes. Oh, I don't even remember the name of this one. This one looks like Woody the Woodpecker. So this one is a really weird one. Uh, I wonder if they say the name. No, I apologize. If you do remember which one this is, uh, put it in my comment section down below. And then this is another Dilophosaurus, similar to the first one with the uh, battle damage, the squeaking sound, the roaring if you push the tail, and the frills that pop off. But once again, all the uh, bullet holes and the speaker take away from the toy. This is another uh, Velociraptor Blue with the chomping action. This is the one that came with Owen and his motorcycle. Owen was actually the only action figure that was released for this series, which was a real shame. And then we have a bunch of, uh, let me get the Velociraptor. Okay, then we, uh, with the Velociraptors, they had Blue, Echo, Delta, and Charlie. I'm gonna show you the first versions and then the later versions. So this is the first ones they made. No moving parts, the mouth did not open, and they did not have the third claw. They do not have the sickle or killing claw. And when a bunch of people complained, they made this version here. That uh, has a roaring noise, and this one chomps and closes its mouth. And this one, they included the third claw because a lot of people complained. But they left all the open screw holes, which was very disappointing. So, same with this one. This is the first version, did absolutely nothing besides move its arms and legs. And then this is the later version. So you can see this one has the roaring sound and this one has instead of the mouth it has like <laughs> jogging action look at those arms I mean what what the point of that was I have absolutely no idea and then again 
first version here. No sickle claw, third claw, killing claw, whatever you want to call it. But this one also had the uh, action feature here, which the battery died on me, and the chopping action, and then they hurry up included the third claw, so people would not be so upset. And all the screw holes. And then this was the uh, first version of Velociraptor Blue. I already showed you guys the other ones that included the third claw or the sickle claw. And then we have a bunch of the Imaginext ones. These are Imaginext Raptors. Uh, I don't think they have any action feature. This one, if you push down, it does uh, chomp its mouth. The same with this green one. I believe these two came with that big orange T-Rex you've seen at the beginning of the video. Like I said, I do have full unboxings of all of these if you want to check it out. And then these ones were actually uh, kind of cool. These ones would attack each other, spin out. Uh, you had like a play set where they attacked each other and they were really cool. Let me see if they identify it. No. But these were a lot of fun. A tiny little Imaginex Pteranodon. Uh, let me see. Another Imaginex Pteranodon. Imaginex, uh, Dilophosaurus, actually, sorry, not Dilophosaurus, Paracephalosaurus, and then uh, Imaginex Spinal Raptor with head moving action, Imaginex Stegosaurus, and sorry, I was just shifting everything to one side, it's getting kind of hard to reach there. Uh, plush, Mosasaurus, then they had a plush, T-Rex. This is a copter that came in one of the Imaginex sets, what was cool, if you pulled the trigger, the uh, rotor blades actually spun and the uh, camera here moved, that was fun. You had a little uh, green, uh, I believe this is a uh, baby Pteranodon. It actually chomps your finger and makes noise. This is another one of the Stegoceratops. I already showed you guys the tan and the dark green one. This is a blue and dark blue version of the same one. So that's kind of cool. And then we have the Pachycephalosaurus with the head butting action, but again, all the screw holes. Uh, this was actually the gates of the Jurassic World one. Like I said, it was a smaller set, so you could imagine this was the top, there was the side. I will show you that one new in the package later this week. A cage from the Imagine Next one, a remote control. Looks like we got the gate pieces there. This was uh, Owen on motorcycle, so this was actually the only uh, action uh, figure that came with the first Jurassic World toys. So that is a cool one. Uh, he did, did come with like, uh, well actually it's right here. He comes with a uh, hunting rifle. Oh, oh, okay, so here is the, the second Velociraptor Blue after they complained about not having the sickle claw, but you know, most of these cannot stand anymore. Even when they were new, they could barely stand. This is an Allosaurus. I mean, that is such a joke. I mean, this is like a Clownosaurus, if you ask me. This one was... This one looks like a mix of a uh, Velociraptor and a uh, Carnotaurus. So I believe this is the Carnoraptor. So once again from the Jurassic World game. This is a bunch more parts from the uh, 
Hero Mashers. So, like I said, there was probably about 10 sets of those. This is a mini sub that came with the Mosasaurus with a uh, hitting action. If you hit the front, it popped open and it threw the figure out of the seat. So, that was kind of cool. Although, you didn't see the Mosasaurus attack anybody. This is a uh, Spinosaurus. This is a green and orange version. And then we have more of uh, these little fighting ones. I did buy a whole bunch of those. So, that was a lot of fun. You have a tiny little Mosasaurus with an oversized head there. You've got some, actually Imaginex had a few figures for Jurassic World, which would be these guys here. But those, they're generic. I don't even really consider those uh, action figures. And then they had a little tiny chomping Dilophosaurus with oversized head. A little Ankylosaurus, some more of the battle dinosaurs, a little Spinosaurus with chomping action, more of the battle dinos there, a little T-Rex with oversized head and chomping action. This is the uh, gyro sphere they had that came with the uh, Indominus Rex with this breakaway here that if you open it, it looks like the, it looks like it was bitten. Sorry, I'm trying to put this guy together by the Indominus Rex. So, ah, and then that action figure would throw the little action guy right out of the seat. And this is the copter that came with uh, one of the sets. Uh, I don't remember which set that was. Oh, I believe the Tranodon, so it had the shooting spike on the front. And that's pretty much all of the Jurassic World toys. So, they heavily concentrated on T-Rex and Indominus Rex. Wow, guys, that was totally awesome. If you enjoyed that video, please go ahead, click like, and drop me comments. Also, guys, subscribe for more fun videos. I do have over a thousand. The majority are Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, King Kong, Transformers, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, Scooby-Doo, and a lot more. Thanks for viewing. Go ahead, check out the playlist on my channel. Or for more Fallen Kingdom videos, check out the playlist at the end of this video. You guys are awesome. I will see you soon. A secret word is the word. Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos, and if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.